Welcome to the Drill Collection tutorial everyone. To get started we're going to click on the Collections tab here down the left hand side. And this is going to take us to our Drill Collection. Now the Drill Collection is the place where you create and store all of your sports specific content. Now you can see here I've got my drills in different folders according to sports. I've got some basketball drills here and we can see them with the icons on the right hand side, some football drills, and then I've got a multi-sport folder with a few different sports content inside. We can click on these icons to open up the drill and we can see exactly what has been created. So we've got a drill description here, we've got some key coaching points that have been typed, as well as a video and a screenshot or an image. And we can click through the folders and look at all of the different drills that we have in our collection. We can double click on folders to close them, open them up. We can right click and click expand or collapse to open and remove the folder. Now to create a drill or a folder, you've got these two buttons here at the top this folder looking button will create you a new folder. We can give it a name. And then the plus button will create you a new drill. We can give that a name. And we have this blank template here that we can work with. So we can add in something like our activity description or we could call it the setup, depending on what you want it to be. Then we can add another paragraph we might call this progressions. And we can always move one above the other using these little arrows here. And you've also got the ability to add in images, videos, something from our playbook, diagram and animation creator, or a video from YouTube. Now, it's all well and good to create drills from scratch, but we recommend that you use a template so here I've got a drill template where we have an activity description, key coaching points, and progressions. So every time we create a new drill, these are already pre-filled so we can just type in the specific information to the drill that we're making. How do we do this? Well, if we press the little plus button at the top here, we have the ability to click one of our templates. Now I've got my drill template here that I can click on, click OK. And let's create a 3v3 plus 3 football drill. And you'll see now that it has the title that I entered at the start, but it also has those three paragraphs that we had in the template. So it's going to save you time using a template and working consistently across the board with your paragraphs. Now, first off, I'm going to show you how we can add a YouTube link. So if I click on the add YouTube link, it gives me a pop-up window where I can paste a URL. Now I've got a video here of 3v3 plus 3, and I'm just going to copy the link, and you can just go up and copy the URL if you wanted to as well. We can paste it here in the box or we can use control or command V to paste. Click OK and you'll see that that video is already embedded in our drill. Now if you wanted to add your own video locally from your device you can click the add video button and that's going to ask you on your computer which file that you want to upload. Alternatively you can click add image and it will ask you to add an image from your local device as well. If we wanted to use the playbook function, it'll take us upon clicking to our diagram and animation creator. And you'll see here, I've already got a diagram that's been created and I can just click insert into drill. And now, you can see that our diagram has gone straight into the drill and we might want to move this to the top 
and we can press the little up arrow here to move it there. And if we're not happy with anything, we can always click the X to remove it from the drill, or we could use the little I button to hide it from the view. Now you can organize your content by clicking on a folder. You can drag it around your drill collection to a certain position, or you might want to copy, cut, or paste a particular drill or duplicate it. And you've got a bunch of keyboard shortcuts here where you have control and command options depending on what you're trying to do. In terms of sorting and finding particular drills, we recommend that you utilize what we call the tags function. Now tags are ways to categorize the specific drill that you're working on. So for this 3v3 drill, we work on reaction, which I already have here in my tags, positioning, and I'll put passing as well. Now, every time I want to search for that particular drill, I could just type in the search bar reaction, and I'll see that the 3v3 drill is here or I might type in positioning and all of the drills that have been tagged with positioning will pop up here. So it looks like that's the only drill in my collection with positioning as a tag. Alternatively, you can click on the tags button here and find all of your recent tags and you can select down this way. So if I wanted to click on reaction now I'm going to see all of the drills that have reaction in the name and have also been tagged with reaction. Now let's have a look at XPS on the mobile. And you'll see here that you have a similar view to your drill collection where I can click in, view the drill, watch the video, read the description. And I can also search just like on the desktop. So if I wanted to search by reaction, I'm going to see all of the drills that have reaction in the name and have also been tagged. Or I can click on the small folder on the top left there. I can view all of my tags and I might want to go in and click on reaction this way. Or I can click on folders and I have a similar view to the desktop where I can open up the folders and view the drills inside of those. Now we also have a favorites option which shows you all of the drills that have been favorited in your collection. And on the desktop to do this, you can just select a drill, right click and hit add to favorites. And you'll see that now the icon has turned into a star. And on the mobile app, we should see straight away that that's now been added to our favorites. Thanks for watching.